Kimberly and welcome back to my channel. I make videos on all things lifestyle on a budget and today I just got back from Target. I was just doing a quick little run um, to look for some loungewear and then some vegan snacks and stuff and I realized like why don't I just take a look around and see what is black owned here at Target. So I saw a couple lists online and I figured like why not just put it all into one place. So I'm going to show you guys what brands I came across while in store and then also what brands are actually available online. The Target that I went to is kind of like a hybrid Target. It's not one of the main big mega stores, but it's a smaller version that opened up in my town a few years back. So I didn't expect to find everything, but I thought I would just look around. And as I guessed, I found tons and tons and tons of hair care. Now further than that, I didn't see that much that was black owned. But when I looked online and saw what was available, I realized most of the stuff is online or probably in one of the main stores. Most of the brands I will say I'm super excited about. Majority of them were vegan or cruelty free or in some form of that. The first brands that I saw in store was the Lip Bar and Colored Rain. Both of those are actually vegan, just saying. I feel like most people do know the Lip Bar by now, but just in case you don't, they have fierce makeup that just looks gorgeous, nice bold colors, as well as some foundation. And then Colored Rain is another brand too that is available and they are uh, they have eyeshadows, lip colors, etc. So those are nice two affordable brands that I saw right away. Another brand that I didn't see but is listed on their website is called Every Hue. I believe it's from someone from The Real Housewives, but anyway, you can find their primers and like a illuminator or whatever right on the Target website. I didn't see this in store again, Hybrid Target, but on the website they have a brand called Kushni. Their stuff looks really, really cute. It's like these different types of dresses that have bold colors. Only one of these brands that I see in store, and that was the Alafia brand. I saw that in like the body wash section. It was the baby's one, but I know that they have them for adults as well. So body wash, creams, etc. It's like a fair trade company. Really, really, really good products. They have a ton of the stuff on the website, so definitely check that out. And some other brands that I didn't see but are available um, include Black Girl Sunscreen, which I actually already have. Love that sunscreen. Really, really, really great. There's another skincare company called Bolden that has like moisturizers, creams, face wash. This is this is another brand that I hadn't heard of before. It's called Nikeo, and she has like cold pressed oils, uh, oils for the skin, brightening oils. I did see it on the website, so I know it is available. And then for men, I actually saw quite a few options on the website that are black owned for men, including Bevel, which is a popular brand that I feel like I know a lot of people that actually use it. There's also Scotch Porter. It's another men's grooming and hygiene brand. And then there's a new one that I'd never saw before, but I saw it on Target's Instagram. It's called AOS Art of Sport. It's a deodorant for men. I thought that was pretty interesting and they are paraben free. The Honey Pot is a black owned brand. I actually saw in the store tampons, but if you look on the website, they have pads, they have sprays, they have creams. There's so much stuff on there. So I think that's an awesome brand that's worth trying. And then moving on to hair care now, this is almost like a broken record because you know if you see my other videos, I have a ton and ton and ton of natural hair care brands that are black owned or have a black founder. I'm just going to run through a list of brands that were available on the Target website and also some that I saw in stores. I have The Do, Girl Plus Hair, Camille Rose, TPH by Taraji, Alake Naturals, Kaleidoscope, Miss Jessie's, Miel Organics, Eden Body Works, and uh, TGIN. There are a lot of brands which is really, really, really great and I love that for hair care. It's like you can take your pick which is awesome. And then finally there's some really good food options too that I think are worth checking out. There's Partake Cookies. This is like a vegan cookie brand. I believe Jay-Z is like a owner or has his hand in as well and they just started selling at Target so that I would definitely try out. Capital City is another brand. They sell hot sauce and like a mambo sauce. I didn't see it in store but it is on the website and I would definitely consider buying it because it looks delicious. And for coffee lovers out there there's a brand called Black and Bold which I think I've seen a lot of good reviews on. I personally don't drink coffee a lot but if you're looking for a way to switch up your coffee intake um, definitely consider trying out their brand. Just by doing my own research those are 
many of the black owned brands that are available um if you want to find more or you're interested to see if there are other ones that i may have missed i would check the target website or check the target page on instagram because they are featuring some of these owners and all that which is really nice to kind of get to know the brands behind the scenes so yeah the next time you're going to target and you're curious to try out some brands like here are some black owned options for you to take your pick while i didn't see that many in the store that i went to i know that the every store is kind of different but the great thing is that they're all available online these are just small ways that you can kind of add black owned brands into your you know daily routine or trying out new products if you're curious and interested in that hopefully this list helps you guys on your next target trip thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one